Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for joining up here in Grand Theft Auto Online. The reason why we're in online is because this is where we can use the new thermal scope. Unfortunately, it is not in single player, but this still allows us to explore all of San Andreas with heat vision, and many people have cited mysterious underground signatures. After doing a bunch of investigating, it seems that those heat signatures are definitely humans, or at least humanoids. Maybe they can be aliens, so why would they be found underground? I have to give a special shout out to the dude, definitely someone helping me out behind the scenes. If any of you guys have any information that you want to help me out with, hit me up on Twitter at TrippyComs. But he is telling us to go to the underwater hatch, because that is the one location in the game where we know for sure someone is hiding out underground, and that would be Roman Bellic. He's tapping on the hatch to give us a secret message telling us that not only is he underwater in the hatch but apparently he wants to go bowling so we're gonna head to the hatch with the thermal scope it is not going to be easy guys so wish me luck thanks again for joining up shout out to anybody new to the trippy community a lot of cool people helping me out behind the scenes and we have a lot of great mods helping out here at the channel as well so definitely join the discussion we have a live stream coming up later on tonight I'll see you guys there all right, guys, so Virtual Trippy's going to hike down the mountain. I'll meet you guys in the ocean as we head towards the underwater hatch. Good thing there's no sharks in GTA Online. I do expect there to be plenty of animals in Red Dead Redemption 2 Online when that comes out next year. So here's how this works, guys. We have to use the rebreather. There is no scuba gear in online mode, so we have to use a bunch of rebreathers. We also have the thermal scope, and I don't think you can use both of them at the same time. I've tried this before, and for some reason, my rebreather will turn off. So hopefully it lasts. This thing is very, very low. But why do they not give us scuba gear in online mode? I find that interesting. It seems like they want us to explore underwater, but they don't want it to be easy. If you go to Doc Tees, you'll notice that the Kraken is free. They're giving us a pretty cool boat, or in this case a submarine, for free, which is not like Rockstar. You can see the tugboat is over one million dollars. All right, guys, with all that said, let's plunge underwater. Real quick, if you have yet to see the hatch and you want to visit it yourself, here's where it's located. Roman Bellic is in the underwater hatch. So can we turn on the thermal scope to actually see him? For the first time, I'm actually going to explore in GTA Online underwater. It is not easy. I didn't even know about these rebreathers until recently. Okay. Hopefully we will start to see the ground take form. As you guys know, it is pretty hard to find the hatch. Sometimes the light is on, which makes it a lot easier. Jeez, look how deep it is, guys. This is crazy. Okay, let's make sure we are on course. We've got to be close. Much love to everybody in the Trippy community. Try this out for yourselves, especially if there's any other locations that you want to check underwater. So far, so good with the rebreather. Whatever the heck that is. Aha, there it is, guys. So we can see it. Let's get a little bit closer. Wait a minute. Oh, no. The rebreather has turned off. All right, activate thermal. There it is. Roman Bellic is not in the hatch interesting it's not telling us about crush depth either so maybe that could be a good thing i'm not sure why the rebreather turned off we are wasted but there is no heat signature under the hatch the one place where you think it would actually be but i still find it very very interesting why is rockstar not giving us the scuba gear in online mode could it be that they're waiting for the nautical dlc that many of us had predicted New submarines, new boats, possibly pirate ships, and for the first time, we could be using scuba gear. The one thing they should add, if there is going to be a nautical DLC, is underwater treasure. I mean, if we're going to go treasure hunting like pirates, that's when maybe underwater can come alive. Because as of right now, there's a lot of unused space in GTA Online underwater. We still have the rebreathers, so they want us to explore it, so maybe there is something to still find. I do recommend you guys check out Two Hoods Falls. We recently investigated this location during a live stream, and it was completely lit up with the heat signatures. Looks like there is a couple underground right now. Well, during the live stream, there was a bunch behind the waterfall as well. Unfortunately, they're not there now. 
but I'm telling you guys, it was the same exact ones that you see underground. And when we zoomed in on them, they were people just standing around. So it tells me that whatever's underground is most likely a human. That sounds crazy. I don't know why they're there to begin with. Is it a glitch? Right now, I guess we're going to have to say it is a glitch, but maybe there's something behind it, guys. Stay tuned here to Trippy Commentaries. We have another new episode going down tomorrow, and definitely join up for our live stream later on tonight as well. We have plenty of things going down this week, so hopefully you can join up with the Trippy fam. Stay tuned, guys, but much more importantly, as always, make sure to stay motherfucking trippy, my friends.